Hey guys, Bob here. Uh, this is a vault episode, which uh, means that it was something we had previously recorded and did not put out for any number of reasons. Either we had something else to talk about, or, you know, we just weren't particularly into the episode. And as I was editing it again, I realized, you know, it's worth putting out. Uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, keep in mind, it was before we actually had created all the social medias that we're describing. Uh, near the end of the podcast, and uh, so yeah, this one's about La La Land, which obviously is of some importance uh, now that the Oscar season is coming up, and you know, blah blah blah. Um, so I guess I might as well plug the socials right now. Uh, you know, we're on Stitcher, iTunes, uh, YouTube, all of those things. You can find us on Twitter at Gosh Daniel Pod. Give us a tweet; that would be very nice of you. We received no tweets. Uh, we usually we usually tweet um, currently. Uh, just, just to let people know that a new episode is out, um, but obviously, if we, you know, if anybody's actually interacting with us on Twitter, we'd be, we'd be up there a lot more. Um, yeah, so let's just say uh, thank you to our uh, patrons, uh, which you can, uh, you can become a patron yourself uh, if you go to patreon.com slash gosh Daniel, um, like Myron did, and uh, a new one. Uh, who is uh, Hunt the Bunt Gunter. That's a, it's an interesting name there, Hunt. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys. Um, glad, glad to hear somebody's listening, and always, yeah, interact with us any way that you can, uh, whether, you know, you're tweeting us or, you know, YouTube comment sections or, you know, whatever. Maybe give us a rating, all of that. Well, I've been rambling for... Uh, not just long enough, but way too long, so I'll actually let the episode start. I guess I'm just trying to fill it out since it was a fairly short episode. Uh, and, and forgive Daniel his screaming. Uh, yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Gosh Daniel Podcast. Home for all of your ASMR needs. No. No, uh, Daniel, no. Oh. N- no. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. But I, but I like ASMR. No. <laughs> you, you can't. That's bad. <laughs> well, um, if we want to continue into this, uh, this podcast topic, um, I'm going to be uh, convincing Reese to go see the movie La La Land. Yes. You heard me right. L.A. L.A. Land. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles land. Okay. Uh, sure. Just just ruin the name. It means so much more than that, Reese, obviously. Um, it means nothing. Okay. I, I know you here, and I know that musicals and the, the type of these, okay, I guess the genre it's sorted into isn't your, well, isn't your favorite genre. Uh, well, I, that's, it's super safe to say. I hated Into the Woods. It was the worst. Yeah, well, a lot of people hated the Into the Woods. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't that good. I loved it anyways. I don't know why. I I just really liked it. Well, um, let me just say this. I I think this movie honestly, um, it kind of it kind of goes beyond its genre in a way. It's it's kind of weird to say it like that, but in the beginning of the movie, it's kind of like what you'd expect from it. But as it keeps on going, it gets it just gets it it just gets so much better. I don't know if if this is going to be like spoilers or anything, I'm not going to reveal any technical spoilers. So, well, I, mean, I mean, you want you me to watch take, it, right? Take so it you, as you, want. you wouldn't want me exactly. to Exactly. So, I'm not going to yeah, say anything too crazy or yeah, anything like that. But um the also another reason you should definitely go see it is because it's because oh, we're already jumping into well, it. it's it's weird. Yeah, I'm jumping right into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I couldn't tell. Is that okay? You just you have oh, well, well, I mean, you're not convincing so far. So, I mean, I just, I just didn't. Even oh, know. I just oh, didn't know. oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be convincing. So, all right. Well, this movie, okay, it's, it's weird. It's a weird movie because one, it's just a combination of so many things. I mean, you could say a movie, um, a movie. It's, it, it's never just one thing. It's never just funny or just sad or just happy there's always like a mix i guess you could say so but this movie kind of plays on that a little bit more and um it really goes 
Uh, some parts are like totally they embrace the fact that it's a movie and it can be unrealistic and it's it it goes beyond I guess like you know musicals aren't so real. So what you're trying to tell me is it's like really really like stupidly cheesy at times and then at times it can be serious and then it's funny. No 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 not cheesy. But I mean, it plays with the fact that it's it's a movie, so you know, obviously, n- no, but musicals are unrealistic in in a sense because nobody randomly, uh, you just start singing in the middle, you know, like when they're having a conversation with someone, they just don't randomly start singing, right? Well, that doesn't I mean, happen in unless you're Mia. It does. Okay, but in real life, unless you're me, of course, that doesn't happen. Um, unless you're me. Unless. <laughs> okay, so um. I'm I'm saying that it's it's not when I say it plays with the fact that it's a movie it doesn't embrace the ch- the clichés or the cheese um but it it, it um tries to it it, it it has a way of um telling the feeling but without just just saying like just showing the person being sad or showing the person feeling happy or in love or whatever it doesn't it just doesn't show that shows like a, a representation of that that okay, isn't so so what 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 are uh some more examples of that um I well guess. i don't want to i don't want to spoil any scenes well, i guess well, yeah maybe you don't daniel but do you want me to be convinced or not i mean that's true okay don't, don't spoil well, it but also all right spoil it okay okay well <laughs> the movie no spoilers how you're making this an impossible task i'm well, just gonna yeah, it should be an impossible task it's a musical and you're going to watch it <laughs> Think about it. You second. are evil. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm recovering here. Um, take a deep breath. The thing is, I have to I have to give a sense of I'm not just gonna reveal everything that I'm saying about it. You have to be curious enough to actually want to go see it yourself. From what I'm saying, you have to be interested enough. Okay, so um, well, okay. When watching this movie, I all it was weird because I also felt a sense of nostalgia. Um, yet. I nostalgia didn't, for a, a new film exactly that came out that you'd never it's seen. weird i felt nostalgia for something i'd never even well okay i felt nostalgia for something i've never even remembered actually feeling anything about to begin with so um this th- the movie it um try it tries to be like a um a re not a re not a retelling but uh, like you know the '50s movies and the '50s musicals and stuff like that. It, it's like, in the '50s. That era. No, it's not. It's 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 not in the '50s. But it it tries to act like a movie like that. But a it's movie like that would have come out in the '50s. You mean? Yes, but it's a modernized version. And so it's a modernized version of something in the '50s that's set in like what the '30s. <laughs> no, you're killing me here. Okay, so. <laughs> So I'm basically the <laughs> so basically the movie's supposed to kind of give you that feeling of a movie that you'd watch that's from the 50s that came out in the 50s, all right? But it's it's set in modern times, so oh, it's it's a, it's a modern, okay, yeah, okay. So and okay, well the interesting thing is. This is, I know that it's not an ordinary musical because unlike Into the Woods, um, after begging to see it and finally have seen it with like family members and stuff, uh, unlike Into the Woods, well, when Into the Woods, everyone was just kind of silent at the end and just let me enjoy it for myself. But at the end of this movie, at the end of this movie, something miraculous happened, occurred. Uh, my, my family. Do you want me to edit that actually, out? Because that was terrible. No, my family. I, I, I might just edit that out. Okay, something something that usually doesn't happen at the end of a movie happened. Well, at the end of a musical happened. My family was it a twist? actually no, my family actually enjoyed it as much as I did. Yes, yes, as much as much, even a- more possibly. Much. Yes, wow. so that's how even I knew David? this movie. Yes, even wait, okay, wait, yeah, David. yeah. So. <laughs> Um, and th- I mean, let me just, um, get my uh, bearings back up. So yeah, so my family enjoyed it as much as I did. And I was actually kind of shocked because my, f- well, at least some of my family members aren't really big on musicals and they don't really tend to imp- appreciate movies like that as much as well, I do. Where did you get and your so, appreciation from? Huh? Had to be from somewhere. Uh, well, it, 
it maybe they do like it because every person is di- what no maybe they like them Jeez. just not as much <laughs> they as just, you they just hide but them maybe the fact they that they like, like it them. from me yeah yeah that's that's my yeah they just that's hide my theory. yeah that's they hide so the fact you're just that they gonna like it find you. ways to not like this okay that's well how it works daniel okay well here, let me just this. say let me just say, okay, one thing. If you watch this movie and you can't find a way to connect with it, then you are not human. That's my conclusion, okay? But if you watch I think this we've movie, already covered the fact that I'm not. Okay. Don't we already, haven't we agreed wow. upon this? Like, um, no. I don't have, yeah. I don't feel human emotions. I don't <laughs> act like a human. Some well, might say fine. I'm superhuman. If you're not a human, then the movie just isn't for you. Okay? Okay? All so right. So you've convinced me that I don't need to watch it. <laughs> well, if you I aren't you human, failed. then you... <laughs> okay, well, how about this? Y- okay, if <laughs> if you watch this movie and you don't find a way to connect with it, if you... Okay, let me rephrase that. If you watch this movie and you don't find a way to connect with it, then you are not... You're not... A living being at all okay you aren't alive because this movie is so relatable even if you don't like it all that much even if you don't appreciate it as much as some which be pretty shocking um it's it's still like you can find some way to relate to it and still appreciate it somewhat in in some sense you know mm-hmm. um i mean that's, that's all like well I, and good uh, and I'm not trying to push here. Here, you you can save that for later because I'm talking okay. now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what if I wasn't alive? What if I'm actually a robot? Oh my word! What would it be then? Then. then <laughs> I'm not saying that I then, am. Then. But what if? <laughs> then it's um it's it's gonna be an okay movie for the robots. Only okay. Only okay. 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 Anyways, if you allow me to continue, okay. Um, this movie, this movie provides a great contrast between uh realistic uh like struggles, realistic like it has so many different uh angles and moods to it. It's it's it provides a contrast from this uh la la land. See, ha 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 ha. ha. This la la land. That's this musical. That's this like just amazing to actual real life not in some sense issues struggles you know stuff like that and so it provides a great contrast with that that i don't very think good, a very lot of good you said a the lot word of contrast. musicals bring that see i say words and yeah. they are accurate but they're they're very convincing yes the accurate thank you yeah okay if you allow me to uh move on well um, i would let you move on no but i have one more thing no um, oh okay what is the movie about great again I, I don't really know what it is or what's it, what it's about at all so it's like inception <laughs> or is no it the Matrix? It, okay okay well i don't know how to describe this it's just it's just so so much more than words well daniel you don't so need basically to describe all the emotions just the plot just the plot maybe who's in it maybe the director i don't know maybe okay, i sound crazy so but i'm curious okay the director actually co-wrote 10 Cloverfield Lane. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he he d- wrote uh, di- no, he directed directed? Yeah, I think he di- yeah, he directed Whiplash, which won a couple Oscars last that. year. JK Simmons. I know. I I heard it's a it's a really good movie, um but I haven't seen it either sadly. So, um anyways, uh yes, uh so that's the director. Uh, <laughs> uh what was i gonna say yes uh okay what it's about yes so it's about um the main character emma stone is mia and the main uh, the other main character ryan gosling is uh sebastian is that why you like it because of emma stone or is it because of ryan gosling is he your favorite actor you're mean um no actually i never even i never really like i don't know they just they they just do such a good they just do such a good performance. Um, I was actually watching like the featurette. No, well, I was doing some research, of course, after the movie, and like they were talking about like the director was like, I've never seen you know actors so devoted to like a movie like this about. Um, they had to learn so much. They had to learn how to like waltz and like Ryan Gosling spent like 
four hours a day or something you learning had to the learn piano. to waltz and play the piano that is insane do you know what other people learn for movies oh my whole word. languages you're, you're mean. sometimes people I know, learn whole I know languages that. i know that you're mean but <laughs> um I'm just I, the thing time. is that's why that's why i didn't start talking about the background be- the, the, the the actors because it isn't it it's they they did a lot, but that's not the reason why you should go see the movie, of course, just because they did a lot, but because it's an actually, it's actually a good movie, okay? It's actually, it actually has, like, comedy, and it's actually pretty funny at some parts, you know? Is it just that's dumb, why I dumb think, jokes, or is it, like, something No, that's... it isn't. It's actually, it's actually funny, and um, hmm. it's interesting because, like I said, this musical is so relatable because it, it, it doesn't just have... Um, uh, where oh it's good and life is great and then it's bad and life is not great and then uh life it's good again and then it's it's not good it's like it it, it kind of follows that pattern but there's so much more things that are going on like there's there's comedy there's uh there's just like you know little bits of comedy there's little bits of drama there's little bits of everything that that kind of happens in real life so that you don't see all that in a in just a regular movie usually they try to stick to you know uh you know a main main uh, a couple uh, emotions i guess like that so it has all sorts of like different uh, a mixture of different things that just i don't know it's really good whatever i'm just saying a lot of words but i i, I really like it and it's it's plus you, you leave the theater and you feel inspired okay you just feel really really inspired by the end like it's just it's great it makes you want to laugh and it makes you want to cry and it makes you want to go out in the world and do something with your life so yeah wow la la land yeah but I mean, not to push, but I, every you time might, you say that, you, you might, push. You might want to close with a summary of the movie because you still haven't okay. explained what it's about. Oh, okay. Well, basically, it's about the main characters. I already told you, me and Sebastian, and they. I guess they cross paths and they help each other in their lives. I guess I don't know. It's like a moment in each of their lives. And they are there, and they affect them the 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 course of their lives greatly, and that's just what it's about. It's just about uh, a point in these two in these two people's lives that they both affect each other, and it's just great, and it's just great, yeah. That's probably the most descriptive thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that is, I don't it's, actually want to tell about you. Two people who affect each other's <laughs> lives, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well now it's my portion where I get to ask you questions. Like, okay. how many times have you All seen right. this movie? Uh, only twice. How many times do you want to see it? I want to see it like five or six times because every time you leave the theater, you're just like, "Can I go back and watch it again?" Like, is that? Can I just? Yeah. So would you say it's very rewatchable? Like you you had, uh, you know, like a similar experience the second time you watched it. Or was it like less uh, surprising and amazing for you? It was definitely. Well, I think it was less surprising and amazing, sadly, because the first time just makes it, you know. But by the end, I still had that same feeling I had the first time. I didn't think I was going to because I'm like, well, I've already seen this again, and so I know it's not, not going to be, you know, as great. And it, it was amazing, and I loved it. But like I said, there was no sense of surprise. I could kind of predict what was going to happen next, obviously. And but by the end, I still felt the same way I felt. At, at the at the first the, at the first time I watched the movie and I was like wow it still you know can affect me you know after I and even after I watched the movie I listened to the soundtrack over and over and over again and I know it's horrible because you don't want to like get you know like get sick of it or anything like that because you want to cherish something that's so amazing but I just couldn't and I just kept on listening and listening and I probably shouldn't have but it's I still am not sick of any of the songs and it's just it's just so good you're basically what you just said there was my reaction to Rogue One. So, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Exactly. So, oh. all that all that communicates to me is that you didn't like Rogue One as much as I did. That that's probably true. Yeah, I so, think you like so Rogue One more than I did. The only thing I've learned from this is really just that. <laughs> oh my word! Uh, it's a movie, and it's about something or other probably maybe it might be about something or other 
Yeah, uh, it might be about something. It, ha- it okay, has it okay. has actors and actresses. Uh, guy yes. learned to play the piano, um, <laughs> and that it's Rogue One for you. Yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> Do you want me to actually tell you what it's about? Well, yeah, I mean, sure. It's a maybe it could be okay. labeled a spoilers portion of the episode, but sure. Well. It- it's not exactly spoilers, but yeah, it's just a summary. It's not like I reveal anything. It's just, a, yeah, sure, or whatever. Okay, so basically, it's about these two people, right? One, uh, Mia, is trying to become an actress, or is an actress, but is auditioning and stuff and isn't doing too well. And uh, Sebastian isn't also isn't doing too well, cause, and he's trying to, he wants to open a jazz club one day. And so it's but basically isn't jazz they dead meet. Here? oh my word exactly that's what he says and you need to see this now because you yes you will see this i mean i like jazz is it yes. good jazz though is there like yes is glenn you miller in it? you need to see this movie now this movie? because the whole jazz angle will captivate you there you go i don't Daniel. know who you finally is. found an angle I was thinking about using that angle, but I was like, well, if I use it, then um, then I'd probably actually do good. So I'm, I'm not used to doing good. I don't know. Oh, I actually okay. did think you'd... You're just making it I hard actually, for yourself, huh? I, I, <laughs> I actually did think when I saw this movie, I'm like, hey, maybe if we'd like the whole jazz, you know, angle about the whole movie. And I think that would be cool. So, yes. Um, yeah, watch it. So, cool. Um <laughs> Okay, spoilers yeah, portion. It's about it. What? what was your reaction at the end uh, when Mia looked away and she she was walking by and she saw like the jazz club thing or what would have been the jazz club? What was your reaction to that? What? What? What did you think? That didn't happen. Oh, it happened. Wait, how? Do, oh, first of all, how do you think that you knew? Because that's not exactly what happened. I'm I'm just making it up as I go. Okay, good. Because I watched a video about it. Evil. Did you watch what's his name's? Houston. Yes! <laughs> Evil. Okay, we're going to cut this out because his review, uh, it wasn't a review, actually. No, it, it was, was like a, an it assessment. Was a of, film workshop. And I, I think those are stupid, okay, because all he's doing is just nitpicking the film. And, like, nothing, hardly anything was wrong with it. There's nothing really to nitpick. That's he what he about, even said. Oh, yeah. He even said that. And I didn't he's like, like that. No, th- he has a film workshop thing where he literally just looks at films and sees like, like, okay, is there anything that they could have done better? And then mentions mentions them in his videos. It's not like he's trying to nitpick and say this is a bad movie. He said it was one of his favorite movies of the year. Oh, I know, I know. He, I heard him say that it was his favorite movie, but I still didn't like like. I didn't still, like, his points weren't even very valid. There was a whole dialogue about her old boyfriend, Greg, or whatever. And he just, I don't know how he missed it, because it was really obvious. Like, the, even the main, he Ryan Gosling said, I might have missed like, it. I know. But the thing is, he said there was a line. They actually had a whole, they had a conversation about it. And so, um, I don't think that his points were very valid. Well, that's fine. You don't have to hate him. Yeah, well, because I don't like him. That's how I felt with people with Rogue One. The only difference is that people with Rogue One were saying, "See, this movie sucks," and you don't hear that from Houston. He's like, "No, this is a good movie. This is what I would have liked to see, maybe a little bit better." Okay, next thing. What do you have? What do you have? Um, I think that's. I think that's about it. Aww. It's. It's. But, yeah, I mean. But it wasn't convincing or good. Yeah, it actually was. Okay, well, um, it might have been a little bit, but you still can't thought, get around I, the fact I can't afford to go to the movie theater right now. <laughs> yeah, so, you got to save up for that Switch, right? Yeah, well, no, no, remember, I, I hate it. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah you hate it. Huh? I hate it, and it's not because I can't afford it. This isn't this isn't a Switch video, Reese? No, this, this is, is not a Switch um, podcast. It's not this a video. Is La La Land. I, I, it's never going to be a video. La La Land. It's La La Land. Okay, well, but can I it was it? a great movie. I mean, Daniel, yeah, if you'd uh, pay for me to yeah. have a ticket and go, I would go. Okay? Yeah, if we were in the same state, sure. Well, you could still pay for tickets for me. Uh, sure. You yeah, could, you know it, man. You could go you know on it. AMC. You could buy me a ticket. Okay, well, anyways, let's just recap a bit. So, 
it has a great contrast between the fact that it's a musical yet being really realistic. It also has um, a great nostalgic angle, I guess. Um, but it doesn't like it's 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 crazy nostalgic, but it doesn't like take over the entire movie, which I think is cool. Um, uh, it's really relatable, like it's 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 crazy relatable, and so that helps you connect more oh, with the movie. Are you trying to start a jazz club? No. Oh. But that's the best part about it. You don't have to be wanting to be an actor or it's the starting a jazz club cl- cl- club to actually um relate to it. It's not just that. It's 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 so much more. <laughs> what was that? Okay. What the heck was that? <laughs> what In my head, I do? always <laughs> that was <weird>. imagine like, <laughs> like a what, British what? guy saying it's so much more. <laughs> you British? Maybe yeah. it's like a Bond okay, villain. Oh, like the. That's, happened. that's the best. Okay, you've convinced me, Daniel. Yes. You've convinced me with your whatever yes. that was. That that's convincing. Okay. Yes. That's what you just Sweet. need to do that at the beginning. It could have been like a one second episode. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Jeez. I guess well, my work is done here. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that was the end of the. Uh, this is the the podcast. Uh, with the most inconsistent time length. Uh, yes. <laughs> we apologize for that, but cut us some slack, too, because... Yeah, because I think wait, our last one and then the one before was, like, 15 minutes, and then the other one was, like, 40 minutes. Yeah, the first one yeah, was, like, well, super long, and then they got shorter and shorter and shorter. And then they... Well, well no, the second one was shorter. super short. Then the next one was longer, and then this one's, like, shortish. I don't... Well... Shortish and whatever. Anyways, anyways, thanks for listening, uh, with your ears. And I hope or please or watching yeah. a blank screen while listening with your ears. Uh, sure, sure. And yeah. um, just looking at a wall, maybe. Also, while give us your money. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me just take take the reins here. Um, okay. yes, please don't uh make fun of me for my horrible uh ways of convincing. Um. I try, do, but actually. I'm not the best. No, I am not the uh, best, see, and Daniel, I can understand you, can that. You tell, say what your Twitter is so they can tweet you about it. It is um, at uh, the childish guy. So yeah. Okay, cool. And are you gonna start a Gosh Daniel Twitter account so people can? Uh, oh yeah. You? you know we should do that, shouldn't we? We probably should. That'd be good. Well, um. Yeah, maybe. We, we, All we, right. We, we well, we get zero tweets, but it, you know, either way. <laughs> yes. And, and considering a, our if name, we get a tweet. You're our favorite human being. Yes, I like that. Yeah. You've achieved favorite human being status favorite human from being status. the Gosh Daniel podcast. Uh, we will read your tweets on air if they matter for anything. If they, if they. Mean I was about to say, yeah, not every tweet, not every tweet, right? If it's an okay tweet that is interesting enough to share on air. Then sure, and you also get to be called uh, favorite human status. Yes, so, yes, you know, okay. That's good. Also, I'm gonna start a Patreon. Oh no, you're not. Well, yeah, I want money. Okay, <laughs> no. Okay. Fine. He needs the switch, man. I'll, he needs I'll, the we'll switch. We'll start a Patreon once anybody cares. So never. We should start a Patreon now, so that people could give us money. Well, we could do that. We should be like really like messed up people that think that people would actually give us money for no reason. Uh, yeah. Like, well, I saw actually I saw this one Patreon page the other day that literally said like, you get no rewards, and I looked at all of the different <laughs> like tiers, and you get no rewards for any of them. <laughs> and it literally just kept saying no, no rewards for you. And, and he, he's, oh, that's he's great. breaking in. Like he gets like two or three thousand or something like a month. What? Yeah. Jeez, I uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. One of the people, people I was give money to anything. Being a patron of was actually, uh, you might say, patronizing him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's horrible. Oh, I'm that's gonna so die. Good. All right. Well, if you want to um, patronize us. I mean, wait. Considering considering people will give money for no like rewards or anything, you you can give money to us. Like, come on, let's money. let's just come on. Yeah, because I know money. that 
I, we're actually assuming that people are listening, so that's kind oh, of funny in itself. Well, yeah. I mean, I know. I think there's. I think I've met a few listeners, really. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, that's great. Have a meet out, up. Shout out to the best listener. Um, yeah. Me when I met you. Him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much editing me. Okay. Well, You're we've the wasted most about listener. <laughs> we've wasted about the last two minutes or the last three, the last we've couple minutes the last of half this hour. Be honest, this entire thing was a waste. Okay, we this yes, we just hope that you enjoyed we're it. Sorry, and <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry for wasting your You're time. You're welcome. Thanks for yes. listening. Give me your money. I want money. And we'll see you next time. And give me your money. And tweet yes, at Gosh and Daniel we'll... on Twitter if we because it have might not Twitter. even exist yet. But who cares? It might not be a thing. Also, somebody else might be using that Twitter handle, so it might be at Gosh That's Daniel true. Pod. Uh, <laughs> what if we just have one them, of them yeah, and whichever one has our logo random. is the one that's us. Mm-hmm. So it's either Gosh yeah, Daniel yeah. or Gosh Daniel Pod. Pod. I don't. Let's wait, be safe why and say podcast? Gosh Daniel Pod. Why not podcast? Because podcast is long, and pod is like a pod. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we better get going here. Well, we don't really have to. I mean, we could. But we kind of don't want to waste people's time. Well, Reese. wait. People listen and waste their time. Uh, that's true. They do. <laughs> I know we can't really waste people's but, time if there's no people listening. Well, not only is it that, but like, if you're listening to a podcast for anything, you're choosing to waste your time, right? Like, you could be like that's true. donating your time at like some place like you could be like at a charity you could be doing charity work or you could be writing oh, yeah. checks to the homeless or something like that where or writing checks to us or you could yeah you could write us a check <laughs> that's probably a better use of your time we accept blank checks we, accept we really blank do checks. thank you, you know very it. much i still want your money uh the end the end goodbye okay, goodbye good day